placed on either bottom part of the kitchen. When you have snapped on one side, the sewn-in magnets in the draft cover will attach themselves to the kitchen. The front is zipped on, first the top, then the sides. You may have to loosen the poles in the front. Mount the included Campioflex elastics onto the D-rings along the grass line on the whole of the front tent. The front tent is pegged down by the trailer tent first. Hammer the pegs in halfway only. Place the pegs at the front poles so the sides stand tight but not too tight. Next, peg the two triangles in front, then peg in the rest of the front tent, and finally hammer all pegs into the ground. Peg the inside grass edge with the included steel pegs. The assembled corners are held in place with the help of the specially shaped pegs and are hammered in as shown. The door may be rolled up and held in place with the fastener. A little pointer. When you set the tent up for the first time, mark the integrated poles with a permanent pen. This will simplify matters for the next time. In strong winds, it may be to your advantage to install the included support poles so they can support the framework of the front tent. Install the short pole with the clamp. Install the poles so that the protected patch is facing the tent canvas. Now put the support pole in place and tighten. Open the window flaps in the front. The short extension poles are placed at the end of each support pole to cover the peg. The support poles are then attached to the ridge pole with the clamps, one by each zip. Install the veranda pole with the clamps to the support poles. Zip the front halfway down and fold it neatly over the veranda pole. Pull up the pegs in front and put the veranda pole through the Campio Flex elastics which are placed outside at the front. Click the inside center plastic buckles together. Attach the veranda pole to the support poles and secure the outer Campio Flex around the wing nut at each support pole. Adjust the height on the vertical poles and secure them with guy ropes. Pull all the pegs up on the front tent. Remember to clean them after each use. Unzip the front and fold neatly. Wipe off any dirt from the grass edges to avoid making the canvas dirty or stain. Avoid sharp folds in the windows. Open the plastic buckles in the side flaps and zip off. Remember that the zips may only be divided in the one end. Clean the grass edges and fold the side flaps together.
Remember to loosen the grey pole hooks between the side of the sleeping cabin and the tent before you lower the butterfly poles halfway down. Open the trailer tent door completely so the air can escape when you fold up the camper. Push together all the integrated poles slightly so that the roof canvas lies loose. Lift the corners and middle carefully so that they are free of the spikes in front. Zip off the front awning, sun awning completely and fold carefully. Gently remove the fiberglass pole from the two pockets in the ventilation flap. Zip up the ventilation window and secure the fiberglass pole in the two sewn-on nylon ties. Remove the front corner poles individually and then the cross connector with the two cross poles. Push the integrated poles in. Ensure they are completely in. Open the zips in the trailer tent under the skirt behind the kitchen. This is important. Take off the draft skirt under the kitchen and fold. Fold chairs and tables and place over the beds. Ensure space at either end for poles to lay flat. Lay the carpet over the chairs. Lower the butterfly poles completely and open the door to the trailer fully so the air can escape once the trailer is folded. Free the elastics along the skirt and lift the edges free of all corners. Lift the floor only to vertical position where it stands by itself. Pay extra attention to the ventilation openings on each side. This is so you do not damage the insect screen. Fold the tent gently into the trailer box so that no part of the tent canvas gets caught when the box is closed. Fully close the lid, doing so gently while still paying attention to the canvas, especially on both sides where the floor is hinged. Use the luggage carrier as counterweights so you can control that nothing gets caught as the lid closes. If canvas is still showing, reopen the lift a bit and tuck the canvas in. Be careful your fingers do not get caught. Close the luggage carrier and lock all locks. Always do this immediately so you know it has been done before you start driving. Wind the support legs up and place the handle in its place in the kitchen box. Close and lock the kitchen. Now you are ready to hook the combi camper onto your vehicle. Before you leave home, it's a good idea to zip on the sun kitchen awning, the roof to the front tent, to the trailer tent. Click the three plastic buckles together as shown so the sun kitchen awning is folded in half. Then fold the awning up over the trailer tent.